Patch Hobbies uh, sent me the uh, King Kong diorama. They also sent this along. It's a tribal Kong skull. It's kind of like a totem for Kong. And uh, it was 3D printed. Uh, a sculpt by uh, Mick Wood. And uh, I believe that this was uh, going to be something that they would either sell separately or as um, something that could be an add-on with the uh, diorama of uh, Kong that also had the option of getting the um, additional part of the base that has a uh, hand arrow on it. And what I went for here is to make it um, look very old. I painted it with a lot of browns, reddish browns. And um, I kind of wanted to make it look like a gorilla skull that actually was a skull that maybe had some uh, stuff carved into it or some gold plating added to it. And so I added... Uh, some um, metallic waxes uh, on top of the uh, paint that I did. I painted the teeth uh, pretty much like uh, I would a, a con kit. And so that's kind of what I was going for. So there are actually metallics on this, but I put dull coat over them. They probably would have uh, been a lot shinier if I hadn't. So I'm kind of thinking about whether or not I should rethink that. Here's some of the ornamentation on the, uh, the base of the bust. Kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah. I think it came out pretty good. I like it. Alright. That's it for that. Hey, it's LeGranzilla, and I have a really awesome kit here. About, um, I'd say uh, eight and a half inches tall. Maybe a little taller. Uh, a resin kit uh, by Escape Hatch Hobbies and sculpted by Mick Wood. Uh, Mick is a great uh, Kong sculptor and uh, what's cool about this particular kit is if you know anything about the, the 33 Kong movie they used an animatronic head that was like full size that a person could actually get in its mouth and they had it carted around on a truck or something and um, in fact I have a uh, model of that that is uh, bigger than my head. It's a full size, has glass eyes. Really cool um, model. Well, this is supposed to be the um, the same version of Kong, the the that animatronic head, but as if it had the full body. That's what it might look like. And he put it on a base with uh, and there and some greenery. And it's got a nameplate, and it is really cool. I really like this kit. And uh, yeah, some really cool detail, and it's a nice size. And uh, the way it comes is, uh, let's say you're saying it's taking a little bit too much shelf, shelf space. You can just remove that. That's a little bit more symmetrical there, see? But uh, here's a close-up of Ian and that part of the base. And then if you want to, you can just put it right back. Put it back in position. And it barely shows. So I'm going to leave it uh, like that. A lot of times when I um, make a kit for myself, I, um, I add to the 
to the uh, texture on the ground. I add some like Woodland Phoenix products and stuff like that. And uh, I didn't do that this time because I wanted to show off the the sculpting that was done by Mick here on the on the uh, jungle floor, just so you could see what it is. Because I want to try to help it, uh, encourage people to get this kit. Um, I was really uh, fortunate and blessed to be able to have Mick and Todd from Escape Hatch Hobbies. Uh, mainly through Mick, though, he, he contacted me and asked if I would like to uh, have this kit and build it and uh, then just share pictures of it. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm, I made a video and I'm going to share that. And uh, I'm hoping that a lot of you will be encouraged to get this. And you can buy this kit. Uh, I understand they're going to sell it either just this part or you can have this um, second part of the base as an extra. So you don't have to buy it all. Um, it, that's That was my understanding anyway. But you can clarify that once you try to order one. Anyway, I really like that head. It looks like the same expression that he gets when he, he shows the close-ups uh, uh, from the 33 movie when he's chewing on somebody or just luring it in. Got that creepy look on his face, you know. But, um, excellent kit. I'm pretty happy with the colors I used to paint him, too. I think it's come out well and a lot of the details showing up and... Really, really happy to have this kit because I'm a big Kong fan, and this is one of the um, one of the kits I really, I really do like. And great job on Anne as well. So anyway, uh, it's all for now, and until next time, bye.